Now, the United States is making a final attempt to stop the European Commission ordering Apple to pay billions of dollars in taxes. The US is accusing Europe of targeting its companies, an allegation Brussels denies. However, Apple has joined a growing list of US companies in hot water across the pond. Google has been a major target in Europe's fight against tax avoidance. While it has not been ordered to repay any taxes, the tech giant's offices in Spain and France have been raided. Back in October last year, the Commission ordered Starbucks to pay close to 33 million in back taxes to the Netherlands. And it was an almost identical story in Luxembourg, where the United States subsidiary of Italy's Fiat Chrysler was instructed to pay $34 million. E-commerce giant Amazon is still under investigation, which could see it paying back hundreds of millions of dollars to Luxembourg. But that is all chicken feed compared to the Apple case. Apple's financial advisors, JP Morgan, believes the commission could order the company to pay $19 billion to the Irish government. Here's Jack Parrock in Brussels. A European Commission spokesperson says there's absolutely no bias against US companies and that any firm wanting to operate in the European Union must come in line with its laws. It's, re it's a response to a white paper from the US Treasury which has slammed the EU for taking on American companies. It says expected fines are deeply troubling and that the probes are threatening to undermine progress. The EU's Competition Commissioner, Margareta Vestager, has already slapped fines of up to $33 million on companies like Fiat Chrysler and Starbucks for what, it believes are, for what the EU believes are illegal tax deals. It's a small amount for such big companies, but the next expected ruling is against Apple, which is believed to have a beneficial tax agreement with the Irish government. Its European headquarters are in Dublin. The EU reckons Apple is avoiding paying billions of dollars in tax in other EU countries through this agreement. And some are suggesting there could be a fine of nearly $20 billion on its way to Apple. Apple says, has said in the past that there's no special tax deal. The US government is calling on the EU to reconsider its investigations into Apple, Starbucks, Amazon and the like, saying that these are issues which need to be tackled at a global level and, it and the US says the EU's approach is inconsistent with international norms.